Welcome to your arms and abs routine. Now this workout utilizes a lot of push-ups, so if you have any wrist issues, you may want to try placing a towel underneath your palms or simply modify or rest during some of the exercises. You will need a mat for this workout. Let's begin with our warm-up. Start with your feet hip width apart, inhale, stretch your arms overhead. As you exhale, bend your knees and take your hands flat to the mat, walk out to a plank position, and then walk back in, standing back up again. Just repeat that reach, bend your knees till your hands touch the floor, walk out till your shoulders are over your hands, and then bend your knees to come back in. Make sure your abs are staying drawn in nice and tight, the spine is staying nice and straight, and those shoulders are making it out all the way over your hands at the end of your plank position. Good, now let's take one more here and just hold that plank pose. Our first exercise is a push-up. Now you can stay on your toes or go to your knees. We're gonna do 10 in a row, coming all the way down, all the way up. Try to exhale as you push away from the floor. Make sure your abs are in tight and your back is staying nice and straight. Now hold this one at the top and extend to a full plank position. We're gonna take the knee across to the opposite elbow, alternating legs 20 times. Really think about bracing your abdominals in nice and tight and use those side oblique muscles to draw the knee to your elbow. Finish up one more here, come down and take a brief rest. Good, it's time to repeat that circuit. We're gonna go back to those push-ups 10 more times on the knees or the toes. And hold this one at the top. Let's go into those plank knee crosses. Alternate those legs. Next we have our dips and sits. So we're gonna start with a bridge dip. Hands behind you, fingers facing in, lift your hips up, bend the elbows, dip your body down and up. Really think about pressing your entire palm into the floor and pushing down through those triceps. Great job, let's move on to our V-sits. You're gonna extend your legs and sit up into them, really thinking about using your abdominals on your way up. Now, if you wanna make this harder, you can reach your hands towards your feet using more of the abdominal wall to sit all the way back up. Make sure you're tapping just your lower back on the floor, keeping your shoulder blades lifted as you extend out and then zip the knees back in using those abdominal muscles. Now we're getting ready to repeat that circuit again and we're gonna add an extra challenge. On those bridge dips, take one leg up into the air to make it more challenging for your arms. Hold it and switch. Nice job. Now let's move back to the V-sits and try it with the hands behind the head this time. If that's too much for you, feel free to keep the hands reaching towards the feet or even on the floor if needed.
Great job. Let's move on to our one arm tricep push ups. So you're going to take one hand across your body, scoop the other one underneath you, and try to tap your shoulder to the floor. You want to press up through the top arm, keeping the abs in tight, the knees bent on the ground. Eyes looking straight down. Relax your neck and shoulders. Good. Now from here, let's go to an elbow side plank. And we're going to reach the top arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, reach it behind your body, and then come back up. You're doing a little lift with the hips here, working through those side obliques. Now if you need to, drop your bottom knee to the floor for a little extra support. And when you're ready, you can work your way into that full side plank position. Really keep your abs braced and tight, and think about tightening all the way around your waistline. Okay, let's set that up on the other side. We're going to repeat the one arm tricep push ups with the other side of the body. And it's time to go back to that side plank reach through. Ten more reps here. Okay, we're almost done. Our last set is a one leg shoulder push up. So we're gonna come to a standing position, walk the hands out so the body looks like an upside down letter V. Extend one leg up to the ceiling. You're gonna bend your elbows and bring the top of your head down to the floor. Think about really pressing down through the shoulders and the palms as you bend and extend your arms. Go ahead and switch out your leg and do five more on the other side. Think of exhaling as you extend away from the floor. Come down to the floor and as we rest our shoulders, we're going to do some leg circles for the abs. Lean back on your elbows, lift your legs and trace a circle. Inhaling as you bring the legs down, exhale as you come back up. Now make sure your lower back is lifted off the floor, your abs are drawn in tight and you're really controlling your legs using your abdominals. Get ready to switch sides. Now we're going to reverse that circle the other way. Nice work. Now it's time to repeat those shoulder push-ups. So bring yourself back up to standing, turn around, bring your body into the V, extend one leg up. Let's do five with one leg and five with the other. Come back to the floor. It's time to repeat those leg circles. Great job. Let's do some stretches to finish up. Just bring your elbow in towards your head, relax your chin to your chest, and switch, stretching through the shoulders and the triceps. Bring your hands behind you, open across your chest, take a deep breath in, and then reverse it, pressing the palms out in front of you, rounding your shoulder blades. Nice job today. You are done with your arms and abs workout. <laughs>